Hey guys, it's Dan, your host Studio Games Reviews, and today I'm back for another Walking Dead video for today. And in today's video, we're going to be doing another top 10 ranking list. We are going to be talking about what are our top 10 least favorite characters of the Walking Dead show now that it's over. Alright guys, this one's going to be doing a review today, this one's going to be doing a review for The Walking Dead, and in today's video we're back with another top 10 list for today, continuing on with our top 10 ranking list for The Walking Dead show. Uh, I got a few more of these that I definitely want to get done, this one is one of the big ones that I know you guys wanted to see after last week, uh, doing our favorite uh, characters of The Walking Dead show, now we're going to do the opposite, we're going to talk about what our least favorite characters are of The Walking Dead series. Now, make sure to keep in mind before we get into this video that all the characters on this list are just my opinion on the show my viewpoint on the series and um which ones are just simply my least favorite you can of course leave yours down below and your thoughts as well too of what your least favorite characters are and i guess a little bit of a disclaimer for this video i, I know it's kind of a low-key a spoiler for the list but um you know a lot of people i know always mention jared and a lot of people always mention characters like spencer and stuff like that and I'm just going to quickly kind of say for those people, I am not going to put Jared or Spencer in this list um, because I think they're well written. And I know that's kind of weird for some people, but I actually think that Spencer makes sense. Like in terms of what they tried to accomplish with him and trying to get you to hate his character, I think it worked. And especially with Jared, I see this all the time. Everybody says that Jared is a terrible character, nothing good about him, whatever. That's the point. He's supposed to be a piece of shit that you hate so much that you want someone to finally kill him. And in my opinion, Jared's character and the actor and all that stuff, they did a fantastic job. So you don't have to be likable, but if you write a character and you're supposed to hate them and you're, they're supposed to piss you off, uh, in my opinion, that is not a bad character. So just keep that in mind so those two characters are not in this list uh, i'm simply talking about characters that i think were either badly written or not right for the plot or i just simply didn't like right so getting into a few honorable mentions we have Lori. uh Lori is definitely one that was an honorable mention for sure i do not like her character i think there's a lot of moments where she really bothers me and not in a good way either to be honest not in a good way like jared um Lori made some really stupid decisions uh, throughout the show. Uh, another one is Virgil. Uh, he is coming around, I will say. Uh, he did kind of come through in Season 11. But I think the biggest reason why I put him in this list is because he really has no value. And he's also the guy that stuck Michonne into a cell and drugged her. So for that, I think that's enough said. Michonne's my favorite female of the show, and Virgil's a piece of shit for doing that. So... But then at the same time, he saved Connie. So I'll give him that. That's, you know, he was going to be in the top 10, but I'll put him in an honorable mention because I still don't like some of the shit he did. But um, I'll put him there for now. And then the last one in honorable mentions is Sasha. Now, this one might be a bit of a hot take for uh, some people. This one I know a lot of people are probably going to disagree with. Uh, Sasha was never my character. I never liked Sasha. I don't know what it is about me. And I honestly, I don't even know what it is about her. I don't know what it is that I don't like. Like, most of the time I can sit here and explain but with her there's just something about her i don't like like when she's on screen i just don't give a shit i don't know what it is so i'm gonna throw her in there as well too i don't have a rhyme or reason why i don't like her which means she's gonna go in an honorable mention but i just don't like her too much i don't know what it is um not exactly uh, my kind of character. So coming into number 10 is going to be Dawn. So Dawn absolutely makes this list because I don't know how to feel about her. I really don't. I mean, one moment she's a villain, one moment she relates to Beth, one moment she's a villain, one moment she relates to Beth. And she was such a badly executed villain in my opinion. And I really don't feel like that character had any kind of purpose. I really don't. I don't feel like Dawn had any kind of purpose in the story. And I just don't really like the character too much, simply. Uh, number nine is going to be Leah. Oh my god, this character is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, seriously. They introduced her in Find Me in Season 10, Episode 18, which I actually liked her in that episode. I thought she was pretty good. But they take this really weird twist with her where they take her and they 
they make her this villain. They make her one of the Reaper members in season 11. And I remember at first, I kind of liked it, right? I'm like, oh, you know, she'll be part of the Reapers and she'll help Daryl get out. Maybe she'll flip to the good side and be an actual cool supporting character for Daryl, you know? Actually have Daryl have a good girlfriend character and have someone be part of the group. Maybe that's Leah, you know? Maybe that'll be her. And instead, they took her down this route that I found to be so freaking stupid, where at one moment she wants to do this, at one moment she wants to do that, at one moment she wants to do this, you know, and she finally kills Pope, she finally comes through and does that, but then she's like, oh no, Daryl, I, I only killed Pope because I want to lead these people now, you know, these are my people, you know, I'm like, oh my god, what the frick, like, what are you doing, like, seriously, and then they kind of send her away, and then she comes back as this assassin for Lance, who beforehand killed his men, but now is going to team up with him anyway, and take more of his men to go fight off Maggie, and I just found the whole storyline with Leah to be such a trash storyline, like, Honestly, I'll never understand why they made that character the way they did. I would have much rather see an actual good story told with Leah, where we see her story with Daryl in the cabin, and then when Daryl shows up at the Commonwealth, he sees her on the Wall of the Lost, and it would be Leah trying to find him, you know? That would actually be really good, and she would actually be like a good guy, you know? I think that would have been a fantastic story, and a good kind of end for Daryl. And hell, maybe even make Leah likable, and when Daryl has a spinoff, she goes with him, you know? I think that would have been really good, and I think they missed a huge opportunity there, because... You know, they had a good actress, Lynn Collins is really good, and I think the character of Leah was off to a good start, but I have to put her in this list because I just don't know what it is with her. I really don't get what they were trying to do with her at all. Uh, number eight is going to be Shira. Now, oh my god, this freaking character, <laughs> this freaking character. I mean, the big reason why I put her in this list is because she's pointless. She's absolutely pointless. Her character is a fake out. That's literally all it is. And it's not like she has any kind of major arc or anything like that. She's there to throw you off. They throw her in the mix in episode 17, and then Roman dies, but she just remains, like, apparently alive, dead? I don't know. I mean, I don't even know what's going on with Shira. So, definitely, in my opinion, one of the worst characters because there is no value. There is no point to her. There is no impact at all. So, Honestly, I don't get it. And Eugene, in my opinion, should have just ended up with Max right from the get-go. I mean, Max should have just been Stephanie. They should have never done this whole fake girlfriend, fake Stephanie bullshit. Just get to the fucking point. Seriously, season 11, we've already wasted time with the Reapers, and now we're wasting time with whatever the fuck this love story was. I mean, honestly. Uh, number seven is going to be Sam. Now, I have a big problem with this kid. I mean, this kid... Look, I feel bad for him too. I do. I feel bad for him. But this kid was just so annoying after a while. Like literally all the time during season six, it would continue to cut to him being scared, not wanting to do anything. He'd have these stupid lines. And then most of all, I mean, he's literally why Jesse died. He's literally why all this happened. And I just found him to be such a nuisance. I don't know what it was about him. I just found him to be such a nuisance. Uh, number six is going to be his brother, Ron. Uh, Ron, I would argue, is even worse because Ron is just such a little shit. I mean, literally, he shoots Carl in the eye even in death, for God's sakes. He tries to kill Rick and... Um, he fights Carl in the worst circumstance ever inside of a house. Uh, he also fights him before that, too, in Season 6, Episode 5. And he follows Rick and Morgan out there. Like, he's just... Oh, my God. I I really do not like Ron. I do not like his character whatsoever. Um... And I'll never understand what, you know, what the real purpose of him was, to be honest. Uh, number 5 is going to be the one and only, the legend himself... Pope. So, uh, yes, Pope is uh, number five. He made it into the top five, obviously, right? Now, I, I would put him higher, but I do like minor things with him in season 11, episode four, like when he tells stories about the war and stuff like that. I actually don't mind that stuff too much, but let's be real here. This character is an absolute joke. I mean, he is literally internet meme royalty. He is. He's, he's royalty when it comes to memes. He literally is the biggest idiot I've ever seen when it comes to a villain. You know, they hype up this, this Pope character, which I actually found very intriguing at first, you know, like Pope marked you and all this stuff. I'm like, oh shit, like who is this, you know? And 
they were hyping him up in a way where it was like, damn, this is like some Negan shit here. Like, they talk about their leader. They talk about how important he is. They talk about how much people fear him. Like, I'm like, oh, shit. Like, this this is good, you know? I like this. Like, this is a really cool kind of buildup. And then you randomly get episode four and you get this Super Mario-looking motherfucker with these glasses. And he's, like, yelling at everybody. I mean, <laughs> seriously. And I never knew what the fuck he wanted. Like, one moment he suspects Daryl. Next moment he has full trust in him. One moment he wants to kill somebody. The next moment he doesn't want to one moment he wants maggie dead the next moment he's not too sure like i and we never saw an interaction with him and maggie that's my biggest thing about him like we never saw an interaction with he uh, him and maggie and he dies like an idiot screaming like a maniac which he always does you want to scream at somebody scream at me Are you trying to be noble is that it sure you're trying to get damn to like you. Pope, I mean, he's just so weird. Like, he screams, he's yelling, he's not doing anything. I don't think we ever saw one fight scene with the guy. He's just this behind-the-scenes yelling maniac with a fucking mustache looking like Super Mario. I mean, <laughs> that's literally how to sum up his character. And he kind of reminds me of Colonel Dancer from Trailer Park Boys. If anybody's ever seen Trailer Park Boys, you'll know what I'm talking about. He kind of reminds me of Colonel Dancer a little bit. I challenged the liquor. I taunted the liquor. I took control of the liquor. And I made the liquor my bitch! I don't know. I just, I do not like Pulp at all. Uh, number four is going to be Nicholas. Now, Nicholas is a really, really bad character. He is a really bad character. I, um... I just don't like him, man. He gets Noah killed. He's a coward. He tries to get the group thrown out. He tries to get Glenn killed. And he dies like an idiot. I mean, seriously. And his redemption arc, I found to be so pathetic, to be honest with you. Coming in number three is going to be Jocelyn. Now, a lot of people always say that Pope is the worst villain of The Walking Dead. Just ultimately, Pope is the worst villain of them all. I actually disagree. I think that Jocelyn is even worse, to be honest. She is a one-episode character. That's that shows you top three and you're one of my least favorite characters and you're only in one episode but this is why she leads a group of children to slaughter a town of grown-ups okay think about that logically for a minute and literally the entire time she's coming after her best friend michonne and now she just doesn't give a shit and she leaves these X scars on them, but is so dumb to where Daryl and Michonne can just break out because Jocelyn and them like leave the room for a minute. Like it's so stupid. And she tries to kill Michonne, a pregnant woman that used to be your friend back in, I think it was college. A friend of yours that you go back a long time and she's pregnant and she has kids and you're going to fucking murder her. I mean, the support that this character gets, like the, the scars episode... I'll never understand it. I'll never understand it, for God's sake. I mean, it is such a bad group of villains. It's such a bad one-episode story, and I'll never understand the support of guests. And Jocelyn as a villain, <laughs> number two is going to be Andrea. So, Andrea is a very, very bad character. And admittedly, I would have put her at number one, because in my opinion, and this just shows how much I hate the Andrea character, I think Andrea is one of the worst, if not the worst, character in the original Walking Dead television series, and I think she's the best character, my all-time favorite, in the Walking Dead comics. What the fuck happened there? I mean, what the fuck happened there? Andrea is one of my least favorite characters in the show, and my favorite character in the comics. I mean, that really does show. That really does show when it comes to just how important she is. I thought she was dumb. I hated her relationship with the governor, her little stunt she pulled with Shane. She shoots Daryl. She dies like an idiot. I mean, there's just nothing redeeming about her. I mean, Lori Holden did a good job. Absolutely. There's no offense to, uh, towards her, but the character and the way it was written, guys, was absolutely horrible. And number one, Oh, shit. Number one. Now, every time I bring up this character, every time I bring up this character as being my least favorite... I usually get flack for it, right? But keep in mind, this is just my opinion. My viewpoint on the show, my uh, standpoint on the show. And those that know me know where this is going anyway. Number one is going to be Beth Green. Now, I would be able to sit here for probably 30 minutes to an hour to explain to you why I do not like this character. But to put it in the short version, 
I do not like this character whatsoever. One of the best scenes in the Walking Dead history with Shane and Rick was interrupted by this woman trying to kill herself, sl slitting her wrist, talking about Maggie should kill herself with her, all this bullshit. She babysits Judith for all of season three and sings a few songs. She whines like an idiot in season four. She completely just makes Daryl miserable. They now somehow start to grow this bond after they get drunk together. And she gets captured. She's in the hospital. One of the worst storylines of The Walking Dead ever. And everything goes good. The trade goes good. Everything is fine. Noah gets turned back in to the, the hospital. So she thinks that it's a good idea with her friends standing there in the background and a group of officers on the other side in this narrow motherfucking hallway to stab the goddamn leader and what the fuck do you think was gonna happen like seriously i'll never understand this character i'll never understand why people love her so much there is literally not one scene i like her in not even one so i don't know um i'm probably the biggest beth hater you guys will ever find because i'm sure a lot of people disagree with me with this but i will never understand the fan base that beth has i'll never understand it and honestly, I think this is one of them scenarios, and I don't say this often with TV shows, but I think Beth should have been removed from the story completely. Uh, they should have done the Billy character from the Walking Dead comics. That's just my opinion. Uh, they should have done the Billy character and, um, you know, left it at that. I don't know. I... I do not like Beth whatsoever. So anyway, let me know in the comment section below. What are your least favorite characters of the Walking Dead show all the way through all 11 seasons? What were your least favorites? Definitely let me know and write your comments in the comment section below. So of course, guys, if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss any other videos of the Walking Dead. Make sure to follow me on Dan's The Walking Dead Reviews to get more Walking Dead videos like this. And I'll see you guys really soon for more Walking Dead videos. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and peace out. Heard stories, walkers that can climb walls and open doors. I was never sure if they were just stories. Yeah.